Welcome back, everyone. I'm here at Sofia Airport on my way back to London after wrapping up a fantastic trip to Bulgaria. I flew into Terminal 1 on my flight into Sofia, but today's flight will be leaving from the more modern Terminal 2. Terminal 2 was opened in 2006 and is a lot nicer than Terminal 1. If you fly to Bulgaria on one of the larger legacy airlines, chances are you'll fly through here. Terminal 1, on the other hand, dates from the 1930s and services mainly budget airlines nowadays. On this afternoon's trip, however, I'll be flying with the national carrier of Bulgaria, Bulgaria Air. Established in 2002, Bulgaria Air's fleet consists mainly of Embraer 190s and Airbus A319 and A320s. Bulgaria Air is one of those carriers that you really don't hear that much about, and the reviews that do exist generally aren't that positive. Either way, I'm really looking forward to this flight and formulating my own opinions. This three and a half hour flight to London Heathrow is aboard one of their 10 year old A320s. This plane has eight business class seats and 156 economy seats. For this flight, I'll be sitting in row 16 of the economy cabin. The seats are definitely old and offer pretty standard legroom for a narrow body plane. They do have a nice big tray table though. And there's a bunch of magazines in the seat back pocket. I also love the fact that a bottle of water is placed on each seat in the cabin. Now that we've reached cruising altitude, let's take a closer look at the seat. There's a headphone jack and audio controls in the armrest, but flipping through the channels, it didn't seem like any programs were offered. The seats also weren't very well maintained, and were starting to fall apart. There's also some cleanliness issues, and I'd recommend bringing your own sanitary wipes if you fly on this plane. And when the seat in front is reclined, it really restricts your legroom, and you really feel cramped. You had lights and individual air nozzles, which is great to see on a European carrier, but the air pressure wasn't very strong, and the cabin was very warm throughout the flight. About an hour after takeoff, the cabin crew began the complimentary food and drink service. Everyone was given a warm ham and cheese sandwich, and it actually tasted pretty good. One thing that I loved about Bulgaria Air was how they branded pretty much everything on the plane, like the wrapping on the sandwich, and this little package of salt, pepper, napkins, and cutlery. Even the paper cups were emblazoned with the Bulgaria Air logo. And of course I can't forget about the additional water bottles that were handed out. 
By far my favorite part of the meal service though, was the chocolate that they handed out at the end. Again, great branding Bulgaria Air. Let's take a quick look at the lavatory. This A320 is equipped with two restrooms, one at the front and one at the back. And considering the state of the rest of the plane, I was expecting a lot worse from these bathrooms. They're actually not that bad. And to make it even better, they even have branded Air Bulgaria soap. Later on in the flight, the crew came around and served complimentary coffee or tea. While there wasn't much in-flight entertainment on this flight, apart from the views out the window and the contents of the seat back pocket, one thing that really impressed me was that the flight attendants handed out complimentary newspapers. It was a nice gesture, even if they were in Bulgarian. While the condition of the plane wasn't the best, I really thought that the service that Air Bulgaria provided was excellent, especially considering that this was a relatively short flight and it only cost about $160. I also have to say that despite the issues that I've had with the cabin, I really thought this flight was a lot better than the Wizz Air flight that I took to Sofia originally. So to sum up this flight, I'd say that there's definitely some issues with the hard product. The seats weren't very well maintained and felt a little cramped, and the cabin itself had definitely seen better days. But the saving grace here was the soft product. The flight attendants were very attentive and did a fantastic job of serving the passengers. Moreover, the fact that Bulgaria Air even offered a meal service on this flight, let alone a hot one, was impressive in and of itself. But then you take into consideration that they gave you complimentary tea, coffee, and newspapers. All in all, I really think they went above and beyond. So in conclusion, go take a trip to Bulgaria, and make sure that you fly there with Bulgaria Air.